Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today we're gonna play The Binding of Isaac, the original vanilla version that came out like in 2011, I believe. Because I know there was like a, a remake called Afterbirth, no wait, Rebirth, that added like a lot more stuff. And then apparently there's like another version called Afterbirth that I didn't even know about until today. But this is just the vanilla version. Um, I, I've never properly played this. I played the free Flash version that was on Newgrounds uh, years and years ago, but I never played the full actual game. And um, I saw Dragnik streaming this during his charity stream yesterday, and I was like, huh, you know what? I never really got to play Isaac. I should do that sometime. And then today I was looking for something to just do like a one-off stream and I saw this in my brother's Steam library and I was like, okay, I guess we'll we'll do Isaac. Unfortunately, the game boots up right away with the story. Um, so I wasn't able to get that. Actually, let me see if I restart the game, maybe. Maybe we can get the intro story again. Let's see. Are you sure you want me to die? That's messed up. I haven't even started yet. I can't say that. Alright, now I'm gonna reboot the game. Yeah, you could tell this is like an old, uh, pretty old game, because Yep, okay, so we'll get to see the little intro story. Cool. Um, they said I should use something called Joy to Key if I want to use a gamepad. Um, which I do not have, so maybe Isaac I could download that mother, while lived alone the story's in a going house on. on a hill. Isaac kept to himself, drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. Okay, Joy to Life Key. was simple. And they were both happy. That was until the day. What a nice Isaac's family! Heard a voice from above. <laughs> Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, my lord. Isaac's mother. Hey, Joe Retro. Rushing into yeah, I wanted to stream tonight too. I just wasn't was sure from his life. what to stream. Again, the voice called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess hey, Rag. his sins. Hey, Rag. Hey, Jay, I basically 100% Rebirth remake version. If you need any advice, I, I can give it. Though some advice may not fit the classic version. For sure. Isaac in his room, Thank you. Away from the cool to see you here. World. Hey, Kiko. One last time. What's good, Chi? mom heard the voice of God calling to her. You've done as I've asked. But I still question your devotion. So yeah, this is a pretty chill uh, story. I will ask one more thing of you. Yes, Lord, anything. Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love Wait, and devotion, to I key. require a sacrifice. Your son Isaac will be this sacrifice. Go into his room. I have a feeling the mom's maybe not so right in the head. I don't know. I just got the, me just a hunch. Else. Yes, Lord, she replied, grabbing a butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around his room to find out. Gotta give Flash its serenade for its he final month, of course. We're all here to show our respects. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I was thinking of maybe streaming some Flash games uh, before, just you know, it goes away because Adobe is really stupid. Into the unknown depths below. For those of you who don't know, the whole thing with Flash is like. Oh, there's some holes in Flash that aren't very good. Adobe, can you fix it? Uh, we don't feel like fixing it. Okay, well, could you release, like, all the source files and stuff so someone else can fix it? Which they surely can. Nah, we don't want to do that either. We're just gonna let it die. That's babe. That's that was basically, uh, Adobe's choice with that. Okay. 
So I have joy to key, so maybe we can uh, get the controller to work now. Control options. All right, it says get joy to key, but I don't know what the controls are, so I can't set the controls yet. That really bums me out, honestly. So many great games that will be lost in time, like Tears and the Rain. Yeah, well, um, Mike Welsh from Newgrounds, uh, he, he, he made this thing called Swivel, which, is it Swivel or it might be something else? I think it's Swivel, where it basically can convert Flash games or movies like into other formats. Um, Swivel might be the older thing he did, and now there's like a newer one. I forget, but he 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 was like made this thing that like to try to help preserve as much of it as he can. But you have to do it all manually, basically, which is the hard part. Rag said, "I'm stupidly recording a video every day this month for Flash. Slowly getting de more depressing as it goes on." Yeah, I should have thought about that more, to be honest. Um, maybe I'll I'll try to do more Flash games. I'll try to remember all like my favorite Flash games and stream those sometime. That sounds like a good idea. I guess we just have to start the game and then... Uh... Okay, so you can play as other characters even in this base version. I wasn't sure about that. Magdaine? Cain? Judas? Eve? Okay, and there's like these different things you have to do. To t I like how it tells you how to unlock them. That's kind of neat. So we'll go with Isaac. All right, so Wasad to move, arrows to attack, shift or E for bomb, space for item. All right, so let's see if I can, I can apply these to my controller. Um, Alright, so move AS. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I don't think I've ever used Joy to key, key before. This is like an old program. So give me a second as I figure this out. Oh, I'm not going to be able to figure this out. This is weird. Stick one, stick two, POV, like, I don't... Yeah, okay, I'm just going to have to play this with a keyboard, unfortunately. I, I can't figure this out right now. I would have did this ahead of time, but I didn't realize... I probably should have figured, because the game is pretty old, that they would not have as good... Uh, controller support um oh god now i can't get this off the screen okay there we go all right oh you can use the mouse too see i wanted to use the controller though uh i'll use the keys yeah, this is probably going to be best for now. Um, Rebirth has good co controller support. Yeah, that sounds about right. Always wanted to pick this game up, but $30 on eShop seemed a bit high. Oof, yeah. This version I'm playing is only like $5, I think, on Steam. Because this is like the, the vanilla base version. You have a bomb, so careful. Okay, thank you. Um, AFAC. Bibbly do, ibbly do, yep. Okay. All right. I'm gonna try my best not to complain about the fact that I have to use keyboard. <laughs> um, okay, shifter E, space for item. I'll try to remember that, okay. Here we go. Oh. See, I didn't know if those are friend or foe or not. So to reiterate, I've only ever played the free version of this on Newgrounds from years ago, which it only had like a couple levels or something. And that was almost 10 years ago. So I, I know little to nothing about 
how any of the stuff in this works. Like, okay, so you can't even shoot diagonally, apparently. I don't know if that's normal. Or if that's, uh, because I'm using a keyboard. Okay, these guys aren't very chill. Okay, we're already getting, we're already about to die. You know what? You know what? Let me try the Joy to, Joy to Key again, because this is really... This is kind of rough. Um... Switch version contains a bunch of DLC. You can only fire diagonally if you move as you fire to add momentum. Okay. It inherits the... You're saying when you shoot and then you move, the tears kind of go. It d They do kind of like lean a little, don't they? Like that's shooting normally. And then that... Well, I'm not really sure. Is it moving? Oh yeah, I think it kind of was. Okay, there's like a little trick to it. Um, let me try one more time to get Joy to Key to work because that this this is honestly kind of rough trying to play with the. Uh... Trying to play with the keyboard. And look, I'll even have Joy to Key on the screen so everyone can see what I'm doing. Um. Okay, like stick to, like what does this mean exactly? Maybe we could figure this out together. Mouse up. Okay, we don't need to worry about the mouse. This seems, I don't know if it's just me, but this seems like really complicated compared to like every other, like anytime I've ever used a controller or like emulator program. Okay, edit this button assignment. I don't understand because all these things go to the same menu. Keyboard, none. Am I supposed to like do it all manually? So let's say, okay, button and let's say W. Okay, so that's W. Now how do I set that to configure with my controller. And you know what, the Switch controller ain't even lighting up right now.
test. Sorry, my mic's really loud now. Hang on. Testing, testing, testing. Oh. oh boy. Oh boy. Sorry, that was probably loud. Um Alright, so what happened was that's still a little loud. I'm getting a, a new mic. This is just this mic is uh is not anyway, so I forgot I had Joy to key on the screen. And I gave up on it, and I started playing the game, and I've been talking, and I was, I've was i been reading your guys' comments and everything. And I was even down here, and I was like... I was over here, I fought some guys, and I was like, oh, these guys aren't even fighting back. And I was not going to kill them, but then the room wouldn't open until I killed them. And then I was like, hey, isn't this game like Zelda? You could bomb random walls, and sometimes there's holes. So I put a bomb up here. Sure enough, there was a hole. I got a one up. And then, I saw Raziel's comment, Oh, Joytiki's the hardest game. And then that, that's when I realized I had Joytiki on the screen. And I was like, haha, that's funny. And then I realized my mic had stopped getting input. Because if I even... Here's the problem. If I touch the USB to my mic that's plugged into the computer at all, I get disconnected. And it's right next to where my gamepad plugs in. So I was messing around with my gamepad, trying to get that to work, so sh sure enough I hit the, the mic uh, USB. And then also on top of that, because my mic is like all messed up, um, when you unplug the mic and replug it back in, the sensitivity goes way up, even though it's on like 2 out of 100. So yeah, lots of stuff happened right now. But at least you could hear me again. Alright, so we need to get a key for that door. Rosary. Faith up. Oh, we could put out these fire. So we need to find a key. Um, maybe if we bomb... Nope, nothing there. See, it wouldn't be to the left because we've already been there. Maybe it's to the right. Nope. Okay. Let's see, where would that key be? There hasn't been any rooms to the left yet, so I don't want to mess around with that. Looks like maybe a. F hmm. Only two hidden rooms per floor. Okay, thanks for for letting me know that. I found one hidden room. I don't know where the other one is. Nothing has gone to the left yet, but I don't have enough bombs to check every single wall, so I think I'm just gonna move on. Blue hearts. The rosary gave you a bonus hearts. Can't refill them. Oh, I didn't even notice that. That's good. All right, we'll just go to, I assume this is the boss door. Isaac versus the Duke of Flies. So, I'm thinking the strategy here is to try to keep these flies at bay. So I know, I, I remember one of the interesting parts about this that definitely uh, makes it hard is the fact that your tears only go so far. And they also have a pretty slow rate of fire, too. Which is interesting. It's almost like you're lobbing... Like... I don't know. Like tennis balls or something, rather than firing bullets. Alright, cool. Oh, the flies are still here. Jesus. I assumed they would go away. Alright, now we know... So watch out for sub enemies after a boss has been killed. Wire coat hanger. No wire hangers. Ow, it's in my head. Didn't expect that. 
Normal hidden rooms are always between other rooms. Meanwhile, super secret rooms are never between multiple rooms. Huh? In before Jay gets brimstone on his first run. That's the thing. I don't know any anything about these, um... The items. I don't know what items are good, what, what items are bad. Maybe... Maybe there's the secret is in one of these. I'll just try one. Nope. Okay. I'll, I'll probably keep the other bomb just in case. Isaac does not have a good time. No kidding. Keys are not guaranteed. Okay. That's good to know. Oh, no. that was a terrifying moment. He was on the toilet and there was no toilet paper. We've all been there. The worst is when that happens in school. I almost never use the bathroom in school just because it's just, it's just uncomfortable to do so. Um, well, good thing we kept one of our bombs because we only have one left here. Oh, all right. I assume you could come back and grab these hearts if you need them later. Um, These guys are weird because they look just like Isaac, except they 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 cry blood instead of uh, not blood. <laughs> instead of not blood. Items aren't really inherently good or bad. It's more about the synergies you create between all the items you pick up. If you have few keys, save them for golden doors since they give guaranteed treasure. Gotcha. Um... Okay, I, I always assumed that some items were just straight up bad, like they would give you negative effects. For some reason, I don't know, I always thought that. I guess this just seems like the type of game because of how morbid it is. I should have saved those bombs. I, I, I wasted all my bombs, like... My very first bomb, which you guys didn't even get to see, I found a secret room. Just by chance. And then every other bomb has been a, a failure. Hey, Arane. You didn't miss too much, we just we just uh, beat one boss. Oh yeah, they actually show on the map that you have hearts in there. That's actually pretty cool. Oh god. I feel bad for these guys, they're just crying. They're not even trying to fight me. But the game makes you fight them, because the the doors will not open until you annihilate them. Slot machine. Well, we do have money. Uh, did something happen? Oh, we just failed. Ah, I want to see what happens if you get a... Hmm. I'm guessing it's actually pretty low chance to win stuff. So I probably shouldn't... I'm assuming you could waste money on other stuff. Sorry, I just like ran into... I just took a bunch of damage from like a few basic enemies because I... I distracted myself. Okay, there's the boss door. Slot machine could be good for keys and bombs. Alright, well, maybe we will try then. Oh, there we go. Pretty fly. Whatever that means. Oh, you know what? We have all these hearts. Oh, right. You can't heal those hearts. Darn it. If only we had lost red hearts. Okay. Uh, pretty fly OP. So far, I, I oh, does it make me shoot faster? Is that what it is? It looks it looks like I'm shooting faster. Yeah, that must be what it is. Um, I remember this before it came out ten years ago. Yep, you're right, Orain. I wonder if these rocks have any secrets in them. I only have one bomb though, so I better hold on to that just in case. Oh, there's a key. Sweet. We finally got a key. 
Use bomb on black rock. Was there a- there was a black rock in- yeah, I thought I saw a black rock in there. It looked special. I just wasn't sure. Oh, I had to use the key to open that, my bad. Sorry. Because the other chest I think I just opened by itself, didn't I? I was gonna save it for the gold door, but I, uh... I didn't realize I had to use a key to open the chest. Because in Zelda, you just open the chest. Maybe we'll get lucky and we can get another key from the slot machine. Okay, gold chests require key. Gotcha. Heard of a game called The Tick on Super Nintendo. I'm guessing that's based on the Tick cartoon. I don't think I've ever played the game though. Come on, get us some keys. Get us some keys. Hey! So I, I, I think there's stores in this game from what I remember. Ooh, a lemon. Lemon mishap. So we press space to use that, but I'm assuming it's like a one-time use. So... I have no idea how it works though, so maybe we'll just use it on the boss. There's another black rock near the boss room, okay. Yeah, we pretty much cleared everything out. Could do like a couple more just to see but I think there's store there's gonna be stores coming up so let's save some of that money oh yep there's a black rock right there the squares next to items is recharge it recharges one block per per room you clear ah wow that takes a lot I'm assuming different items take a different amount of time to recharge or a different amount of blocks rather Hey, another key, cool. Um, all right. Well, we'll try the lemon in this boss. Gemini, because they're twins. Okay, that didn't exactly... Okay, so now we know you spill the lemon on the spot you're standing, and we still don't know what it does exactly, but maybe like you want the enemies to slip on it or something. Got to be careful. Pay attention. It's kind of ironic because the main reason I wanted to play this is because it's a twin stick shooter. But I'm not using twin sticks because I'm using a keyboard. Oh, no. He's angry. We just annihilated his, his brother. Only the parasitic twin is left. A radioactive spider has appeared in the basement. I'm assuming that's not a good thing. Dog food. Dessert. HP up, nice. Um. Uh, lemon mishap is exceptionally underpowered in this version. Gotcha. All right, so I think we can move on. Wait, there's another boss door? Because we came in from this way. And now there's another boss door? Oh. Um. I'm assuming this means we, we want to pick one of these things. And I need to figure out which one is the best. One of them is the, the mark of the demon. There's two hearts, one heart, and then a little guy. Hey Sam Burger, what's up? So, um, the most dangerous but interesting option would be the Mark of the Demon. 
right one is good. No, it will take your hearts. Oh, it costs that many hearts to get it. So, okay. The thing is, I don't know what these do. Rag claims that the deal is worth it. But I only have four red hearts. So if I pay that, then I'm going to only have two permanent hearts. And that's going to be kind of rough, isn't it? Meanwhile, the one on the left is only one. Right one gives you power. <clears throat> you know what? I think I'm going to hold off for now until I have more hearts. I would maybe get the one on the left, but I'm not sure if that's worth it either. Yeah, because I can't... I'm taking too much damage already. And the bosses are going to get harder. Well, the enemies are going to get harder in general. Oh god. Alright, so there's these red guys. I think I remember seeing Dragnix fight these guys. They keep resurrecting- oh god. They keep resurrecting, uh, unless you kill their- their puddles. So that's good, I saw him fight them. Cool. Uh, actually get both. Whoops. Well, a little too late for that one. You unlock character. Oh, is that the deal with the devil? Because I noticed that on the main screen, you could, um... It said to unlock one of the characters, you had to do two deals with the devil. Maybe next time we'll do a deal. I'm assuming we'll have more hearts by then, hopefully. Oh god! I don't like this guy. He has a lot of health. There we go. Uh, ever play the Neverhood games? You know, I never played the very first Neverhood, although I, I do think it's cool, but I have played Skull Monkeys, which was the sequel. Um, I have always wanted to try Neverhood. It's really cool clay animation. Skull Monkeys, my uncle actually had for PS1 when I was little, and I remember liking that a lot. Devil Angel Rooms will spawn if you don't take red heart damage in the floor, so bonus blue hearts are great to guarantee it. Gotcha. Skull Monkeys had the most bizarre intro if you've never played the first game. Because it literally just opens with a bad man fell from the sky. And then you see this like this weird creature person fall literally just fall from the sky and land on this this weird world of these like skull monkeys. And for the longest time I thought, oh, that's just how this story begins. A bad man fell from the sky. Just one day a bad man fell from the sky. Here he is. But it turns out that it actually, uh, it, it's actually a continuation from the ending of the first game. That looks like a challenge room or something. We'll probably wait before we jump in there. Joe Retro said, I beat El Shaddai. I think you'll really enjoy it. Oh, really? Dude, Joe Retro, you are like hardcore. Where you, whoa, okay, that's not good. We need to be moving when these guys pop up. Um, you really, you really get into those games, like you, 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 uh, play through them pretty quickly. I used to be like that when I was younger. When video games were my life. Now I just play video games online. Professionally. Not quite yet. But we'll get there. Ooh, half heart, but I could probably get a half heart from, uh... Oh wait, why is the dual place locked up? 
Damn, is it because we took damage? If we didn't take damage, could we have went and tried out the dual place? Darn. That's, that's, uh... I know that's like the whole point of like roguelike games is that you don't know anything and you kind of slowly learn it. But I am so bad at figuring stuff like that out that uh, I usually am not very good when it comes to them. Challenge room requires full HP, boss challenge room requires one or less hearts. One or less hearts. Oh, so now we can go do it. Alright, cool, thank you. So we just need full HP to enter it. I thought maybe I ruined my whole chance. Pills here. Get it? Just like that one game. Ouch. You know, I thought for sure back when Left 4 Dead, uh, there was only like the first Left 4 Dead game. I thought for sure the sequel was going to be called Left 2 Die. But then it never was. It just seemed like the obvious title, you know? Oh god. Oof, those flies are- oh god, oh these dudes. <laughs> Oof, okay, we don't want to get close to, uh, all of them quite yet. Oh, they only pop up when you're in front of them? Why is that dude not popping up? There we go. Ouch. You know what? Screw you. Damn it! <laughs> I thought, thought the spill was bigger. I guess I forgot. One day we'll get that lemonade to work and we'll see what it does. Oh, if I hit Q, I do the pill. Okay, I don't remember Q being one of the the uh, inputs they taught you. I wonder what that does. Um, Floor two of everyone guaranteed to give devil room if you don't take red heart damage. After floor two, it's random. The red guy's name is Clog from Neverhood, you're right. El Shaddai only took me eight to nine hours plus a broken arm, what else am I gonna do? True. Uh, Q to eat pill, they don't pop up if you shoot them. Q to eat pill, but what the heck does it do? That's the main problem. So maybe we should save that. Actually, I think it's worth wasting a bomb to get that half heart. I haven't even been using bombs during the bosses because I keep forgetting they exist. So we should be okay. Pills are random per run. Oh, so they literally can just do anything. All right, we'll probably try it out then. They're good or bad, gotcha. Gotcha. So you probably don't want to use a pill if you're like low on health or anything, because who knows what it'll do. At the same time, it might be your last resort if you're about to die. Oh God, when these guys see you, they really go for the kill. Oh, you can shoot over the holes. Duh. That makes sense. Bomb. Rope. Bombs. Lamp oil. You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough rubies. Ten bombs. Whoa. That's cool. Now maybe we could try to find a, a secret uh, room. By the way, this game treats everything as a resource. HP may be less important than other things and bombs can be more useful to find more resources than kill things. Basically ruin the game and treat it as a spreadsheet. Yeah, we'll just min-max everything. Uh, I guess we'll go in. Oh, store finally. Okay, so that's what the money symbol means on the map. So we could buy another heart. Is that health or is it actually gonna give me another heart? Because three just for to fill my half heart up is not worth it. But if it's to give me a whole extra heart, it would be worth it. 
That's bombs, that's a Bible. We can't afford that, fortunately. Bible is amazing. Too bad we can't get it. It does look interesting. Okay, we'll save for the Bible. Although I doubt we'll be able to afford it this run unless we randomly like start finding rooms that have like money in it or something. Nothing there. If you get 15 coins on this floor, you want it. You want it? It's yours, my friend. Damn, my very first bomb, I found a secret room and I just haven't been able to again yet. Ouch. Oh, there's money, but we can't reach it. That's messed up, why would they do this? We need that money. It's my money and I need it now. I can tell you where the secret door is. I mean, if you want to, I don't know anything about all that. Look, even more money that we can't reach. I need to stop paying, I need to pay attention to the bullets or else. Oh, there's a rock right there. I did not notice I was running into that rock. Oh, oh no, oh no. The music in this part is surprisingly like, like, uh, chill. Okay, there's the boss door. Look on the map for where three rooms have a gap between them. That should be the secret. Three rooms have a gap between them. Oh, I see what you mean. I think. I could use it too, I only have two hearts right now. Alright, so I'm assuming you would mean like right here. Yep, cool. Alright, that's that's a very- Oh, and that's exactly what we needed, but- Oh, and it's exactly enough! That is very serendipitous. Wow. Wowee. I like how the hole just filled back up. Well, what are the chances? Now let's hopefully I don't ruin it. Oh, they, they showed where I tried to bomb, didn't they? That's good. So you know, yeah, I tried to bomb right here. Where you've already tried it. That's actually very good. Um, was it in here? Yeah, okay. All right, we got the, the bibble. Whoops. Oh, so we could trade back. Wait, that was like a normal sized person before, wasn't it? Huh. Alright. Alright. So we have the Bible for the boss now. Maybe we should try to take the pill before the boss. Maybe it'll heal us. Here's what we'll do. We'll stand outside the boss door. We'll take the pill. If it has some negative temporary effect, we'll just wait till it wears off. If it has... Um... If it has a positive effect, then we could run right in. Bible gives you flight, and you want to save it for later as it will win you this run. Really? Huh. Well, I'll take your advice. It would be pretty amazing if we managed to, to beat this on our first run. Alright, um, I'm gonna try the pill. Let's see what happens. Oh no. Oh! Damn it! I didn't see the bomb. So now we're most certainly going to die to the boss. I was like waiting to see what was gonna happen and then as soon as I realized it was a bomb, I, it was too late. Oh well. Isaac versus the Fallen. We'll try our best, but we're probably gonna die here. Ouch. Yep, one more hit. Oh god, here he comes. Oh my god! He's fast. Oh, he's fast. Oh, and now he does that too. Jesus. Oh god. Oh, now there's two of them. Ah, oh, that's not good. Oh, that's very not good. Oh, that's very not good. 
Oh, that's very not good. Oh, that's very not good. Oh, he's fast. Oh, he's fast. Oh, God. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, we had a one-up. I forgot about that. Well, <laughs> sorry. I hope I'm not too loud. <laughs> you know what? I probably wouldn't have even did as good as I did right there if I didn't... If I remembered that I had that one up, because I was like really trying not to die. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's let's try again. This is getting out of hand. Do you? When do you plan on trying the other Onimusha games? Um. I don't know. Probably maybe if they go on sale or something. I already got Dead Space 2, because that was on sale for really cheap, so I'll probably end up playing that before uh, Onimusha. Oh, you know what? For some reason, the way you said save the Bible, I thought that it was a one-use item, but you already explained that you can refresh it. So I should have uh, realized that. I totally could have got that heart for this fight, and I might have beat it on that first go. That's why these games are tough for me, because it's like... Everything is unknown, basically. Oh god. Damn it, we're gonna probably die. Oh god. Damn it! How did I take a whole heart of damage right there? Use bombs to kill boss. Oh! I had bombs! Damn it! Ah, oh. This- this is one of those games where there's just- I- it's just there's so much stuff I have to think about that I can't, um... I forget it. Oh, the bombs probably would have helped a lot, wouldn't they have? I had nine of them. It's a shame that remastering Onimusha 2 or 3 is a lot less likely since they use actors' likenesses for certain characters. <sighs> Damn, that was so close. Leave all I own to my cat guppy. Okay. Well, there goes our... Our, our, uh... Our beginner's luck run. Uh, you got no shot power-ups that run, so it sucked, but Bible was a good GG win if you reached the final boss. <sighs> yeah, I mean, when you told me about the Bible, I really wanted to, uh, try to make it through. I could just blame it on the fact that I'm using a keyboard, that's fair, right? Clearly I would have beat this... Clearly I would have beaten this by now if I wasn't using a keyboard. Clearly. Sad onion. Wait. Oh, so we shoot twice as fast. Nice. It, uh... New walk. Is it a cooking game? Oh, walk is like the big bowl. Lust? Who the heck is this? A mini boss? This was not here the last time. We got a pill. Huh. Interesting. We're getting a new Onimusha in 2022, supposedly, called Onimusha New Walk. Terrible name. Hug her. Yeah, I don't think I wanted to hug the, uh, the sin of lust. There might be a little... Ulterior motives going on there. Okay, got the key. Wow, it's we're actually like fighting like new enemies already, like on the first floor again. Oh, money! And there's the boss door already. Um, it's subtle, so you may, might not have picked it up, but this game has some Christianity themes. No. No way.
Um, we have a key to go in there for the store. So that looks like a glass of chocolate milk, a temporary heart, and a candy bar. And we can't afford any of it anyway. So. Yeah, this guy's big, but then when we came back later, he was small. I wonder if that means anything. Alright, looks like we're just gonna have to go right for the boss for now. Well, there might be a secret room somewhere. Um... Hmm, where would the secret room be? I don't see a one one room between three other rooms. So I'm not sure where I, I would probably be wasting my bomb here. You think it's in between the treasure room? All right, we'll give it a shot. Wow, yeah. Okay, slot machine. Uh, I suppose we could try this. It's the starting room. Probably not gonna get anything here. Hey, we got pill. Oh, I should've used the other pill. Um, well, let's go ahead and use one of these and then pick up the other one. Speed up. Cool. I'm guessing that's temporary speed up, though. Otherwise, the pills would just be any other item. All right, let's hopefully it can last long enough for this. Monstro. Oh. Oh, Lord. Okay. We are faster. Oh god, all those projectiles just flying at us in, in one big lump. Oh god, got us that time. We got lucky starting off with the two bosses we did, because that I feel like those ones were some of the easier ones. Like the uh, Gemini and the Lord of the Flies, or whatever his name was, Earl of Flies. Duke of Flies, <laughs> that's what it was. Earl of the Flies. Hey, we did it. Got some dog food. Okay. Pills here. Oh, it's permanent. Cool. Um, stat upgrade slash downgrades from pills are permanent. Yeah. Count of the flies. That's actually cool. I assume the pills would be temporary. I still feel bad for these guys. They're, they're not trying to fight me. They're, they're, they're crying just like I am. But I guess what must be done, must be done. Then again, just because someone's crying doesn't mean that they're not up to no good. You know? They could have their own evil motives. Ouch. So they just shoot in the four directions. I don't know if putting the fires out actually does anything, but I always want to. I'm going to save that for when I take more damage. Pills can screw you over or help. It's a gamble and some players refuse to ever take them while other players always take them. Do the different colored pills actually mean they do different stuff or are they just completely random regardless? Bombs, yes. 
Pill color is identical effect in your current run. Ah, so they're random but identical for the current run. Does, so that means you can stack them, right? Or else there would be no reason for you to memorize what the colors do. Okay, sometimes you get money out of the fire, just hadn't been getting it so much before. If you find a pill, take if you learn its effect for your run. Gotcha. Uh, we don't have any keys, so we'll try to save it for that door if we can find one. Okay, there's a boss door. Let's not go there quite yet. Wow. So we have a potential to get some money here. So far, nothing. Ooh, big money. Big money. I wonder if you could find a key in the fire. That'd be cool. All right, no keys. Four flies. Fly El Quattro, okay. Oh, Isaac versus- oh, okay. Okay, we'll know to look out for that, Jesus. I don't like that at all. Just keep him stuck in his loop, because the other one's actually more dangerous, I feel like. His other attack. Oh, we missed. One more. Oh, almost, almost. I feel like they have a... Oh, he was just going to give more hearts? That's kind of... Bummer. Um, it seems like... Those guys have a little bit extra health than... Than when their health bar actually runs out. Alright, so between three rooms, that would mean... There should be a secret here. Hopefully. Yep. And look at that money. We needed keys though, actually. So that's not super helpful. Key. Key. Dang, no keys. Um, you can also bomb into the shop if you get a third bomb. Bomb into the shop. Oh, like from down and then if I went right. Bomb into treasure room via secret. So if I didn't leave, I could have used another bomb. Have you ever played Super Meat Boy, Jay? Same thing as with this one, Fac. I played the free version of, Su the Flash free version of Super Meat Boy on Newgrounds back when that came out. And I think I actually like beat it. Um, I, I, I don't know if I got all the band-aids or not, but I think I did like, I don't know if there was band-aids in that version. There might've been, I think there was. Um, but I haven't played the, the full version Um, Rag, by the way, it, it seems you might be a little behind on my stream. A little trick is if you set the speed to times two, even though it says it's live, it'll act, it'll actually catch you up uh, closer to the actual live stream. It's a very useful trick that I just found out by chance. Alright, so we can't get in there unfortunately, but... Uh, I guess we'll just go fight the boss. Um, let's see what this pill does. Why not? Tears up. Awesome. Both of the pills have been beneficial. Larry Jr. Is that a reference to, um... But there's two of them. How is it Larry Jr.? <laughs> um... Ouch. Is that a reference to one of Bowser's kids? I think one of Bowser's 
original seven kids is called like Larry Jr. or something, Larry Martin Jr. Which, which then suggests that Bowser's actual first name is Larry. Because why else would he be called Jr.? That means Bowser's full name is Larry Bowser. There we go. Monstro's tooth has appeared in the basement. I don't know what that means. They mentioned something like that before. Underwear? Mom's underwear. Uh... Okay. Is this like Psycho? Achievement unlock Monstro's Tooth. But we never picked up Monstro's Tooth. Sorry Jay, I watch you at quarter speed to savor your voice. Your super secret gamer terminal. Uh, you should check your super secret gamer terminal see if they're offering keys for Super Meat Boy Forever. That comes out in a few weeks. Ooh. Uh, I'll have to check that out. Um... Is this a reference to Super Meat Boy? AJ hey, Dub, by the way, sorry, I didn't get to, uh... I didn't get to welcome you. I was in the middle of fighting for my life, you see. I have a lot of money right now. If we run into the Bible again, I'll be able to get it. Arrow shoots tears. I don't think this game knows what arrows are. Well, that's rude. I don't think I've ever played uh, any of the Family Guy games, I have to say. You unlock Monstro's Tooth so it's added into future runs, treasure pools permanently. Oh, So that's what the spider thing I unlocked before was. Cool. Ooh, what is that? Oh, it's, it's a tarot card. That would be 16, the tower. Oh no, we just swapped the... Oh no, no, we already used the pill, so that's good. Now we don't know what this what this tarot card does though. Or tarot card, however uh, it's pronounced. I think I've heard both ways. Damn, I'm so mad I didn't use bombs on that boss when I had nine of them. That definitely, we would for all we know, we'd be beating the game right now. But now the pressure is off to try to beat it on my first try. Really? Really, game? All this time I needed a key and that's what, that's what you're gonna do to me? You unlock, uh, I believe that's how the default controls, yeah. Tower, tower card, it's super safe. That sounds like you're perhaps being, uh, sarcastic. Just say one of the major arcana to be safe and be a nerd. There's an NES game called Taboo the Sixth Sense, and it's literally just a, a tarot card reading game. And it's, that's it. Like, it just... You, you you put in what your question is and your your age and your name or whatever and then it it does a tarot card reading except with NES graphics and I actually did a Halloween J reviews on it one time and there wasn't a whole lot to say about it so I had to like put in some other dumb stuff like I think at one point I stopped playing it because the game kind of freaking me out and I tried to play Super Mario Bros but then like Super Mario Bros. Bros is like cursed because Taboo didn't want me to stop playing. You know, the usual goofy video game review stuff. Really? They need to stop doing that. There's the boss door. Joe Retro says I have a copy of Taboo for my NES. Cool. I actually have the manual for that too. Because back when I first was kind of getting into collecting NES games more, which was like around like... I want to say it was around like 10 years ago. Um, they were a lot easier to find for cheap 
both online on eBay and also at like swap meets or uh, flea markets as they call them on the East Coast. And I think they call them boot sales in the UK. Anyways, um, yeah, they used to be a lot easier. You could find NES games for like a few dollars, two or three dollars. I really wish I had like money back then because like not that I have much money now, but I just had like nothing then because I was like a teenager and I just, you know, barely had anything. But I was able to get some games here and there. Now, every retro game is like overpriced at this point. It's ridiculous. Sloth. So is he just gonna run them? Okay. Oh, all right. We'll make sure to look out for that. It's kind of cool that there's like these mini bosses. Oh, another tarot card. The chariot. Um. Bomb rock on the side to knock into pit. It makes a platform. Oh, that's a good tip. I should look that up. Is the art any good at least? That's most of the fun of the tarot cards. The art, the art is actually kind of neat from what I remember. Um, I don't know if I should use the card, because he said it was probably not good, but... This one's probably decent, I don't know. I don't know if these are like also permanent effects or not. Well, I mean, I guess it's, we have to we have to try it out, right? Alright, let's try the tower, let's see what it does. Oh! Okay! Chariot is immunity. As in, like, invincibility? That's the case. I better save that. Yet another key we can't reach because this game's trolling me right now. J-Dub says tarot cards like Persona. Isn't that a meme where like people notice like something that's in anything but it's also in Persona so they're like, hey, it's like Persona. Like, I think someone was literally, like, there was, like, jazz music, and they were like, Hey, this sounds like Persona's soundtrack. Damn it! Another gold door, but we- all the keys are- Oh, you said we could probably get one of the keys, huh? If we block the, uh... If we knock the rock into the hole. Alright, let's go back and try that as soon as we get the chance. Ooh, that's good, because we, we've already used that. So we'll use it again. Yep, it says tears up. It even remembers for you. Boom. So now our tears should be extra. Oh, yeah. That's pretty dang fast. We're, like, really crying now. That would have been great in an enemy-filled room. Yeah, you're right. Well, it might have also been dangerous, because we, we would have had to avoid the enemies and avoid the bombs. It would have been good in a room full of rocks that we wanted destroyed. I feel like they put extra keys in this floor just because I can't unlock it, any of the... Sorry, they put extra door uh, locked doors in this room just because I can't reach any keys. Oh, it never went up here. Up! Oh, look at that. It's definitely a troll at this point. Like, are you, are you kidding me here? So would I be able to bomb one of the rocks here to knock them into there to get the key? Fax says pretty much the titular persona themselves are things like demons, gods, spirits from any and every culture. So you can be like, hey, it's Asterius from Persona. That's like that other, uh, that gotcha game that's really popular, right? With all the, it's just a bunch of historical figures, but they're, they're like anime. They turned them into to like anime characters. Go to the room that has both bomb and key in the middle. You can use one bomb to get the bomb and the key. Okay. Good thing I have an Isaac expert. All right, so how does this work? Cause I don't want to blow it up and do I do it from like this side? It's trying to teach you to bomb the rocks, I think. 
But I only have one bomb, that's the thing. On the opposite side of the pit, okay. Oh wait, do you mean... Like, on this side? Or do you mean... Behind the bomb? Sorry, I just want to make sure I do this right, because I only have one bomb here. Beside the rock, okay. Alright, here we go. Hey, cool. Now we can go to the, the big gold door, as they call it. Lard, okay. Bucket of lard. Oh, now we're tubby. Well, we're not wearing mom's underwear anymore, so that's good. But uh, I'm not sure if this is actually beneficial. Maybe we take less damage. Oh no, we have like way more health now. Whoa. I haven't realized that. Okay, cool. Too bad there's no hearts. The other uh, place had like way more hearts just laying around. All right, I hope we can survive now, because if we can heal, look at all these dang uh, hearts we can get. Also, sorry, I missed your answer if you said the chariot made you invincible. Uh, no, the underwear's still there, you just can't see it anymore. Damn it. <laughs> Lard slows you, but you got pills to counter it earlier. Oh, cool. But it also raised our health up, didn't it? Because we have... I'm pretty sure I did not have seven... Sorry, six heart containers before. Peep. This is a new boss, so we gotta be careful. Don't know how he's gonna work. Eggs, ouch. Okay. I'm assuming we can walk over the green spots because they're... It's really starting to cover the room. Otherwise, that would be pretty rough. Okay, we're good. Okay, we can't walk on the glowy green spots. Yeah. What is that little eyeball? Oh, his eyeball fell out. Damn it. We might have to use the chariot. Although I forgot to check first if you confirmed if that was... Uh, Oh boy. Okay, we gotta be really careful here. We can do this, but we gotta be careful. Okay, two eyeballs, two eyeballs. There's gonna be lots of, lots of stuff flying around. This is basically becoming Fury at this point. It's a lot of blood. Oh! That was close. Oh! Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it. Oh, there we go. Half a heart. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Whew. In real life, the effects of lard are slightly different. Yeah, true. Uh, oh, Max. No, wait, you unlocked Magdalene. Oh, it gave me one extra heart. It said max on it, so I thought I was going to get a refill. Alright. Achievement unlocked Maggie's wig. Alright. Time to move on. Okay, we're on four of six. So we might have a chance. The yum heart has appeared in the basement. All right, we need health. We have lots of money. If we could somehow convert money into health and keys, and even bombs. Oh, I don't like this room. I don't like this room. Oh God, oh God. This isn't good, this isn't good. Damn, these guys take a lot of hits for how small they are. Okay, they're not too bad, it's just a little panicky when there's a bunch of them. And I gotta remember, you can attack people over the holes. 
which for enemies like this... Ooh, a key! And another key! Just what I needed. They make a hard boss and they give you like two and a half hearts, yeah. Well, it's supposed to be randomized, so... We can't blame the game entirely. Oh, this is a room. I'm just gonna use this. Oh, but I can't... I don't know if that... If I was supposed to run into the enemy when that was happening. Oh well. At least it didn't kill me, I guess. I just panicked because there was just all this stuff happening and I don't have a lot of health. Oh, you rock. There we go. Ooh, a pill! So we could bomb this and, and get that pill, but we don't know what that pill does. So we're gonna wait until we clear more of this area out. Super Mario star power. It seemed like it, but when I tried to run into the enemy, it didn't seem like it was doing anything. Oh god. Oh god. This isn't good. This isn't good. This is very not good. Don't split into two smaller ones, please. Okay, good. There we go. I need some hearts. Okay, so we can open those without a key. Heart, please. Okay, I'll take the bomb. Oh, there's a store up there. We should go check that store out. Yeah, I'm just going to use the key. I have two keys anyways, so... Ooh. There's a scroll for 15. I, I'm going to have to get that heart. Because... But would it be better to get the red heart or the... Because that's just going to refill a heart. It doesn't actually give me another container, right? So... I don't know if it'd be better... That doesn't make sense, huh? Red Heart would always be better. The scroll looks like it must be do something pretty impressive. Shop owner's okay. I mean, he he's having a little trouble, but... You know, his, his business is still running, which is good in, in current, the current climate. Wait on Blue Heart until the boss fight. Okay. We'll get that. I guess we're not going to get that scroll. Scroll is a random item effect. Okay. That's definitely not worth 15 coins. That's way too risky. <laughs> He's hanging in there. That is that is a, a very dark pun. Like, usually puns are, like, just cheesy. But that was, like, cheesy and dark at the same time. Ouch, 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 ouch. I'm going to die. And there went our heart. Arcade! There's an arcade room. I don't know what it is with these guys. These guys always make me lose my cool when there's a bunch of them and I just... They're gonna end up killing me one day. It's just gonna happen. Oh, chariot. Okay. Arcade. Heart for money. That's exactly what I need. What? No! No, I needed hearts. I should have realized that considering this is an arcade. <sighs> okay. Well. I mean, this is an arcade, but it just has, well, we've... if we could get a heart out of this, Also, what kind of arcade just has a single slot machine? You can use Chariot for free money from the blood bank. Stop using machine before invincibility expires. Yeah, but I have so much money that... Can I, like, talk to this guy about something? Is this, like... Oh, I didn't know that was gonna happen. I wasn't paying attention. Well, apparently it worked. Alright, but I need heart. Okay. 
I, I think at a certain point it's actually literally impossible to follow because of the frame rate. Damn. Alright, well we won't waste any more money though because it's just keys and we need hearts. Literally we're just using the slot machine because we really need a heart. Bomb's good, that we could possibly bomb our way to another heart. Okay. Okay. Um. Hmm. You can bomb heart machine. So we got money, but what? Oh my god, we have a hundred coins! Uh, we have a hundred coins, Jesus Christ, I didn't even realize that. I don't need that right now. I'm rich, but I'm about to die. Heart machine will give health. No way. So if I'm really careful... Well... That works too. We didn't need that though! <laughs> We wait, because we already have max money right now. Okay, uh... I mean, might as well try with this guy a couple more times, because we have so much... Dude, I do not need any more money. Oh, I got up. I forgot. We can die from that. Heart, please. Heart. Bombs. Okay, that could be good. Maybe this guy doesn't give hearts, I don't know. We got lucky that first time, didn't we? We're gonna get killed by this damn fly. I'm, it's not even like I'm trying to be greedy, I just- I want a heart. I need a heart right now. So badly. Okay, he's not going to give us any hearts. We'll just go to the store and get that temporary heart, because it's better than nothing. Keep gambling, I can't ga gamble, the machine's broken. Oh, you mean this guy. But he's not giving me any hearts, though. It's just all bombs. Uh, cool lo-fi remix of the music. Oh yeah, because we're in an arcade. Jay supports gambling on stream. Cancel Jay. Well, I mean, you can have fun at a casino if you if you gamble responsibly. You just have to know when to stop. That's most people's uh, main problem. Oh, nice, dude. Can you give me a heart though? I could ri Here's the thing though. Even if if he offers a heart. I have a 1 in 3 chance of actually getting it. And so far it doesn't look like he's ever going to give me a heart. So... Also there's a Super Meat Boy poster and a... Uh, that other game he had on Newgrounds. It it, it was spelt like the, the F word, but I, I forget what it was called exactly. Rag probably knows what I'm talking about. Rag knows about them old Newgrounds Flash games. A fly? That's like the punishment. You can't offer that as the pr Oh, there we go. Please, 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 please. Yes! Oh, that's exactly what we needed. There you go, Rag. And another one, please, please, come on. Come on. Damn. Yeah, now he's, he's offering us the hearts. There we go. Come on. We got lucky there with that first one. Oh, you made a video for it today. That's cool. Yeah, that was a really cool game. I might have to, um... Yeah, you know what? I might have to start streaming some Flash games. You know, in honor of them going away soon. Yes. Oh, this is so good. I think we're pretty good to move on now, actually. Because this is just going to take a while, it's just going to be me gambling. So let, let's go ahead and move on. We have a bunch of keys. Lucky Foot has appeared in the basement. If you want Catharsis, you can 
bomb this guy when you leave. Oh, that's okay. I mean, if anything, I had so much money that it's actually... I'm not really mad at him at all. That, that went pretty well for me. Okay. Random bomb. Pride. Did he just do the troll face? I don't like that. I don't know what's going on there exactly, but I don't like it. Yeah, that was definitely troll face. Uh, troll face. I think we fought almost all the seven deadly sins now. I think like Wrath might be the only one we haven't really fought yet. Ouch. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Yeah, they definitely do not die when their health bar runs out. It takes some time after that. The tower. Alright, well... Oh, that's a normal bomb. Okay, so the safe thing here... would be to... keep the chariot. Because the tower just blows up everything. Unless we went and... If we see a room that requires, like, a bunch of rocks to be destroyed, I'll go back and get that. You know what, we might actually try to gamble for hearts one more time, because I am low again now. That guy kind of messed me up. There we go, come on. You know, I feel like if you just pick the same skull every time, that might be the, uh... Oh! Oh, he's gone. Scatoli. Fly love. I have poo on my head. Okay. Oh, no more hearts. <sighs> that pill might be worth trying out. We could really use some health. Maybe it'll do something good. Alright. Range up! Alright, cool. Aw, oh, sweet. Now we can fire... Yeah, like all the way across the room. Almost. Just about. No, yeah. That's all across the room. Check out this store again. Oh, you know what? I might as well just get the scroll now. Because I have so much money. Uh, easy to spend 40 minutes gambling to guarantee a run, but it wastes a lot of time. I mean, it only really worked for me because I happen to have all that money. This item makes flies your friends. Uh, so, actually this is a bad item because it could literally just do anything, huh? Why is there one of these machines just laying here? I guess I'll bomb it. Hey, a heart! You're right, sometimes it, it gives hearts. And now we can push the blood. You know, flying's being- fly- that's a fly. But I'm guessing those- those flies don't count. Or maybe they are. They're not attacking me yet. I don't know, they're just kind of bouncing around. Mindlessly. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, they don't flinch from these at all. They just keep on moving. It's only flies that glow red. You can push bombs after putting them down. Ah. That's good to know. Uh, you could tell I'm getting old because my left wrist is already a little sore from using uh, the keyboard. Which that did not used to happen when I was younger. I would play hours of Flash games. Although, it could also just be my current uh, keyboard 
Maybe it's not at the right level. Like the height or whatever. Well, we have a million keys, so... Heart! Yes! <gasps> yes! That's exactly what we needed. Why is our heart on the outside of our body now? I hope we don't take double damage or something because of that. I feel like we're doing pretty good now, aren't we? From the keyboard, nothing else. Well, look, this rock can be pushed. Should I, like, blow this rock up? Is there a reason why I can move it like that? Seems like an ultra secret. I'm gonna go for it. Nope. It's just pushable for some reason. I probably should have waited till you said something. Okay, okay. You know, sometimes you gotta experiment, though. That's what it's all about. Yeah, that was like the best possible thing I could have found. And now I'm gonna waste it all. And now I'm gonna waste it all! Uh... Ouch. Sometimes it's a little tough to estimate if the bullets are gonna hit you depending on their distance. Because it kind of has like a depth to it, it's not exactly like completely 2D overhead, if that makes sense. These flies aren't being my friends at all. Fun fact, there's a challenge in Rebirth or Anti-Birth uh, where you're invincible, but there's a heart familiar following a wandering ally that takes HP, your HP damage if it's hit. Huh. That's cool that they had like bonus modes, because uh, that gives the game more replay value for sure. Ouch. I really don't like these guys. Thank god I got all those hearts. I, I would be dead right now. Pretty sure. Oh boy, a coin. Those flies can't hurt you. Really? So they, they won't they just won't even touch me. There's the boss door. Yeah, they do something with the animation that makes it look like shots are arcing in such a way that it's a little harder to estimate where shots are gonna land. Yeah. Which I mean that's like the style of it, and I'm sure it's something you can eventually just no what's that on the bottom right I wonder if this would lead to a secret room it looks like it might this song sounds like like the soft part of a nine inch nails song or something Oh, right, that, that turret card. Oh, wait, no, 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 you said the trick. According to your trick, it should be here. And it didn't work. Because you said between three rooms generally, right? Normal black flies are docile and deal no contact damage. I had no idea. Alright, um... There's a few possibilities for secret room on this floor. There's four. Only one is the real one. Ah, okay. So that was one of the possibilities. Here's another one. It might be better to save these bombs for the boss. At the same time, if there's a chance I could get more health, that'd be good. So it's a bad floor. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying now. The three different spots. Like, here's another one. Damn, bad luck. All the ones that we tried. And now we might as well do the fourth one. Because that's going to be it. You know what? This is actually potentially good. Because we can get hearts, we can get bombs. We have so much money, that's the only thing we don't need. Okay, well. Time to get another dollar, I know, right? Yeah, they're just giving me coins. Hearts, please. Or bombs, even. To at least make up for those bombs I used. 
Wow. Even a key would be nice, even though we have six, but... There we go. We, we got a bomb back. Just get spinning it until it blows up again. When it blows up, do you always get a dollar, or is there a chance you could get other items? Oh, is that good, or... Is that gonna hurt me? Because it's following me, but... I'm not sure... Okay, he's not hurting me. Um, dollar is rare. Wow, we've already been streaming for an hour and a half. So I should just leave the fly alone, yeah? Because he can help me or something? Wait, he did something bad, I think. No, wait, that was just me failing the slot machine. I'm assuming there has to be some benefit to the flies following us. Or, unless it's just like an aesthetic effect. Hey, there we go. That's good too. So we were actually lucky that we got that dollar. That makes sense considering it pays out a hundred coins worth of money. Come on. They really like just giving me my coin back. We actually are getting pretty low on money now. Maybe we should... Maybe at like 20 we should stop, because that's good. Because I know there's still stores where we can buy stuff and there might be something good. Like we, want, we, we might want a Bible or something. Can I blow the machine up? Ooh, half a heart. Stingy. There's a special way to make flies fight for you, but that's a secret. Okay. Um... I'll stop at 20. That's the secret to gambling, by the way. You, you figure out a time to stop ahead of time. Pills here. Now we're even faster. And then you stop when you say you stop. You can bomb shopkeepers too. Ooh, nice. But is it a good, like, does bombing the shopkeeper actually do anything? Or is it just, all right, I'm gonna go now. Cause we wanna save some of that, that dough just in case. All right, boss time. Gertie. This is another one we haven't fought yet. So oh! Okay. Oh, God. Okay, let's get rid of these little side things. Let me get the chance. Oh, I killed my own fly. My bad. I just saw it coming towards me and I panicked. Oh, he just spawned two more of those things. Oh, so those flies aren't going to hurt me, but normally they would. Damn. Maybe? Oh, no, he just moves. Yeah, go ahead and spawn the flies. It's not going to help you, buddy. God, he has a lot of health. He might actually... Damn it, I hope he doesn't. Can't die to this guy. Ouch. Get rid of those, because those are going to be an issue. Okay, he's almost done. He's almost done. We're okay. We got this. Splunker has appeared in the basement. I wonder if that's a reference to something. Use the item. Oh, I forgot I had that. Um, dinner. Dinner. 
All these YouTube poop references. Bombs? Dinner. <sighs> Bombing beggars and shopkeepers adds sin, which increases chance of devil rooms. I think the shopkeepers are in enough pain. Yeah, good, good point. All right, we're doing okay, actually. We still have seven normal hearts and then a temporary heart. Um, you're right, I probably should have used the item. I forgot I had it. Okay, we are at the penultimate level, I think. Maybe. Yeah, this sure looks different. Okay, we can't reach that. He wants money. We have money, but we can't reach you, dude. Maybe if I get more bombs, I'll come back later. Hey, Professor Beep, who did this to you? I don't know. Oh, God. Okay. So they're just gonna shoot. Oh, God. You have to pay attention to all of them. And they have a lot of health. Damn, they have a lot of health. There we go. At least he dropped a bunch of money. The Fool. I assume that's not a good card. You can bomb the rock to get the chest via filling the gap. Um. Oh yeah. I wonder if it's worth that. But I think I should wait though and see if there's anything else that's better to bomb. I could just use the Fool in this room to see what it does. And then uh. And we'll, we'll leave the full behind for now. The chariot is definitely the more useful one. Why is that a red seven? Oh, it's a map. A red seven. What does that mean? The full teleports you to the first room of the floor. It's useful as an escape tool. Ah, that is good. Is there a reason why that's... That's, um, red. Seven coins is discount 15. Oh. Well, I better get it. It's on sale. Look at that. Now we can see everything. I kind of feel like I should get a bomb, too. Hmm. Yeah, let's get it. That's a pretty expensive bomb, but we might it might come in handy. What is that? I can't even tell if that's an enemy or they're just Okay, so they stop after the room's clear. Interesting. Uh, I'll come back if this is seems like it's worth going for. Fak always has to bring up the underwear. Oh, we should help this guy. Now that we have enough bombs to reach him. Because I'm assuming he'll, he'll help us out in some way. So let's go ahead and... Boom. And then... We don't want to kill him. That would be unfortunate. Oh, no! I didn't mean to do that. I thought... Dang. I was gonna give him money. Well, here's another pill. What does it do? Bombs are key. What? Oh, it just turned all of our keys into bombs. Which may be an okay thing. It's impossible to reach him with only one bomb from bombing the rock near door. Oh, it's possible. I didn't realize the bombs could blow up some so such a high range at once. Well, now we can get the. Oh no, we don't have a key. Hmm. That's kind of ironic. Oh, this is new. Do they only take damage from behind? Yeah, it looks like it. 
Luckily, they don't just run towards you all the time. That would be very difficult to deal with. Oh, but if they see you, they sure like to. Okay. Okay. All right. That red guy takes a lot of health. But he's probably gonna drop something good. If it, it seems like the specially colored ones generally drop some good stuff. Damn. Get them to turn around again. These guys have a lot of help for how tricky it is to hit them. Oh, you can hit them from the side, actually, it looks like. Yeah, okay. There we go, and he gave us a heart. That's good. There's a boss with this gimmick. Oh no. Use tarot card and eat them all. Eat them all. What are you talking about, eat them all? Is it true that Cap on Cap Capcom is making remaking RE4 and Code Veronica? I didn't hear about that. But I think it would be cool if they remade. I, I I don't see how a remake of RE4 could, you know, what more can you do with RE4? But Code Veronica remake would be pretty cool. I think we're fighting like sushi or something. Oh wait, those are organs. Never mind. They're rolling organs. They're remaking RE4. So did they actually, did they actually confirm that they're remaking uh, RE4? Really? Huh. Interesting. Wait a minute. We have a map, but it doesn't even tell us where the boss door is. What kind of map is that? Oh no! A whole room full of this. All right, I'm gonna try to just. Okay, so you run into them. Cool. I probably could have saved that for something worse. We should go get the full back now. So there's a massive data breach at Capcom. Lots of stuff coming out. Damn, that's been happening to a lot of companies lately, hasn't it? Whoops. We haven't been in this room yet. That was a foolish... That was foolish. Okay, we're good. We're far enough away that these, uh, they kind of look like sphincters, to be honest. Oh, a key. Oh, a key. That means we can, we haven't found the gold door yet, so we're going to wait, we're going to hold off a bit. But if there are no gold doors, then we'll open one of the gold chests. Or if we become like really desperate or something. So there's the fool. That is a normal chest. Oh, the normal chests don't require keys, so we might as well get that. Yes. Wait. Well, yeah, it's still good. Bombs are good. More keys would have been better, but can't complain. Your map shows you the secret room. Right. You're right, it does. Uh, but we already... Didn't we already go into it? I guess we didn't. For some reason I thought I did. That's not bad. Um, we were kind of getting low, lower on cash. Dragon's Dogma 2. Oh god. Oh, but they're all stuck in a certain spot, so this is actually fine. As long as we're careful. Damn it. What did I just say? 
literally just go up, hit some, and then run back down. Just be really careful. We don't want to waste health in a spot where you can easily avoid damage. Oh wait, we can reach if we do this. Right, because of the trick you guys mentioned way at the start. Wow, it even goes like down this way. It's kind of a spread shot, but still. Uh, I say save 15 coins for the final store in the next floor in case you're lucky and get a Bible. Alright, I'll, I'll try to save. Oh, there's Wrath. Oh god, Bomberman? This is literally Bomberman. Wait, did he hurt me by touching me? I can't tell. I have bombs too, but I'm like... Okay, there's more open paths now, so I should be safe. I just started kind of panicking there. This is literally Bomberman. <laughs> but he's just like, demented. Dude, we knocked his own bomb back at him. Okay. Mr. Boom. Does that mean we could just blow stuff up whenever we want now? But, we would have to build it back up again. Oh my god, we're so low on health right now. Alright. I'm gonna- Is there a chance that the Dead Sea Scrolls could give me some, like, item that heals me? Because it's a any random item effect, right? I might have to go for that. Yeah, because we are really low. Alright, let's 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 see. It duplicated the pill, which we don't know what it is. Well speed up. Even more speed up, damn. Alright. We're in trouble. We are... We're in pretty bad trouble. Oh, you know what? I just need to... I need to open one of those chests. I just have to. Tammy's head. Uh... Yeah, definitely too much speed. Um... Yeah, I was kind of thinking that too. I'm getting kind of fast. I was hoping I'd get a heart out of that. Uh, but maybe this item's good? Do you remember what Tammy's head does? Right now I remember one of the big issues of this game, all the activation items have the same recharge time. Tammy's head in remake is single room. What? Tammy's head in remake is single room. I don't know what that means. Tammy's head casts your current power of tears in all eight directions. Oh. Just one time? If you have OP tiers, it can clear the entire room. Ooh, that's kind of good. It only takes one room to charge Tammy's head rather than six. Oh, okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm not... Maybe I should try using this again. Oh, wait. It's not charged. Okay. I'm going to take Tammy's head for now then, because the Dead Sea Scroll is like out right now anyways. And, uh, yeah, we might have to use this Tammy's head if we want to survive. Tammy's head plus brimstone equals instant death. Oh god. Okay. We can be careful, just gotta be careful. The blood looks like it's bad, so let's try not to touch the blood. We're okay. 
I didn't know what these guys were going to do, so I got a little panicky at first. Yes, that's exactly what we needed. Um, what's the star up there? I just realized there's a star. Oh, it's the item. Oh, these. Okay, clear out one side. Fast, 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 fast. Okay, they can't reach me. We're good, we're good. I think. We're just gonna be careful. There we go. Now they can't reach me. Oh, this isn't gonna work because you have to keep hitting until... There we go. They have like a... an amount of regeneration. I need keys, not bombs. Alright, so I have Tammy's head and I have the Fool, just in case. I have two things to possibly help me out here. There's the boss door, too. Heart, please. Heart, please. Okay. So the boss is there. The skull on the map looks kind of like, uh... The character from... That Dan Paladin game, Dad and Me. Seem to like going in one direction for a while. Oh, I wish I had a key for that golden door. Maybe I'll get lucky. Oh god. Maybe I'll get lucky and get a key here. Really could use a key here. Come on. That's not a key. Damn it, I shouldn't have used that key. Is there a way I could bomb into that room? Probably not, huh? Because you would have to go through the secret room. Oh, I had so many keys. Alright, those flashing effects are kind of rough. <laughs> they, they might rag. I don't know if it's worth it to try to go to one more random room to get more hearts and then fight the boss, or just go fight the boss. Okay, this looks okay, I think. Oh, never mind. These guys are different. Oh, God. I don't know what to do. Oh, God. Uh, I panicked. I panicked. I now have half a heart to fight the final boss with. <sighs> Can't get that because I don't have a key. Don't know what that tarot card does. It could, I mean, that might be my last resort. I might have to get that card and hope that it does something good. I'm surprised my finger found the Q button, honestly. This isn't recharged yet. Yeah, the Tammy head isn't very good because it's just my current level of tears, which is not very strong, so. That's not really. I feel like Dead Scrolls is kind of my random possibility of helping me. I think I'm going to just get that tarot card. If it's Sun, you're safe. We'll see. Sun tarot card is full heal, so try to buy it. Half 1 in 12 chance. Alright, everyone cross your fingers. We want that Sun. We want the Sun. Well, huh, pretty sure we're going to die. And blowing up the, uh, the guy, could he give me a heart or is that just, no. Can you blow up the chests maybe to open them? You were a fool to buy it. Well. 
Looks like we just have to fight the boss with half a heart now. I should have not went into that last room. I have bombs, but let's see if I remember to utilize them. I went the wrong way. Wait, what am I doing? I'm not paying attention. <laughs> this way, this way. All right, here goes nothing. Loki, never fought him before, so we're probably gonna die. Whoops! I meant to hit the bomb. Uh... That was an accident. I just was gonna start dropping bombs just because... I don't know. Ever played the Legendary Staffy D's game? I don't think I have. All right, we'll try again. I'm gonna die. This room has like hazards and stuff in it. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, this is, a, this is a, this is a hard one. stayed here. It doesn't look like that thing can reach me over here. Oh, maybe it can. Oh, it can. It can. That was foolish. I panicked. Oh. I had a... I choked up at the end. Sorry about that, guys. Because oh. my brain was like, okay, he's almost going to die. And then I remembered, even when, you, even when you get their health bars down to zero, you still have to hit them like five more times. But, uh... Damn. Damn, two runs took two hours. I didn't realize this took that long. I feel like when Dragnix was playing this, he was getting to like way past where I was getting like in like 40 minutes. Of course it was that freaking thing that goes around the room that got me too. Oh, okay. I was gonna stop right now because I didn't plan on streaming for very long today. Um, but I could try one more character since we unlock some. Ah, oh, man. I just, my brain is wondering like, would that, would that have been possible if I wasn't having to play on keyboard? 
That's funny that you could click on these. Um, all right, we'll try again. Oh, whoops. Um, oh, we could actually look at our stats here. Start. So we unlocked Magdaine, who has more health but less speed, and Kane, who has a lot less health and but more attack and more speed. Um, I'm gonna. I'm, you know what? I'm gonna go with Kane just because he has less health. So maybe there's a. This, the the run will either go slower, or sorry, the run will go faster, because I'm more likely to die. But since he has more attack, there's also a chance that I could, um... I'll get farther before I die, maybe. I guess we'll see. I was noticing there was a lot less poop in the floor we were on. Maggie's weak but starts with more HP. Yum heart heals her. Really, she has an especial, a special effect that just heals her. I might want to use her in general just later. Look at all these keys that I really needed the last time. Gotta funnel them out. Whoops. I got stuck on the rock. <laughs> We're gonna die very soon. And that's gonna be it. Yep. <laughs> These, the bean has appeared in the basement. Okay. Achievement unlocked, the bean. Maggie's a good beginner character, can buy lots of devil deals, but other characters are better for risky games. Well, it's funny that Maggie's a good beginner character because you need to get like seven heart containers to even unlock her, which you would think like, isn't really a beginner thing. Whoops. Uh, I've never ran into fire before. I didn't realize it could hurt you. Well, <laughs> I got killed by fire. I, I didn't get a good look at what was on sale there. I guess I'll try one more time because that was kind of bad. Wait, the boss door is right there. That was fast. You know, he's not as strong as I was hoping, I thought. Mom's lipstick, oh boy. This really is like Psycho. You remind me of playing Dizzy games. Oh, my ring? Oh wait, the rock. Okay, so their shots also get blocked by the rocks, so I can just, like, play it safe. Oh god. Not safe enough. Not safe enough. God, my, I'm not used to my shots being so slow, because I had, like, faster shots in that run. Main issue with this game, especially original version, is you start off with few items in treasure pool and most of the basic items are boring. You need to unlock all the fun stuff. Yeah, it, it does. I guess that's good for like replay value though. Because you're not really meant to beat the game on your first time. Although, dang, we had a pretty good run going that first time and then I goofed it up because I, I had nine bombs I could have used. That still hurts. Um, 
I can't afford any of this stuff. There's a black rock I could bomb, but I don't have bombs. Alright, here's Lust. This must be the first one you fight, because literally just runs after you. It's pretty basic stuff. See how its health reaches zero, and then you still have to hit it a few times? Full health! Well, now we know what that pill does. That would have been good for the last... Oh, man. You know what the sad part is? I had half a heart in that last boss. If I had, like, one more half of a heart, there's a good chance I probably would have beat that boss. And we and that was the second to last level. That's so hard. That's so... painful to think about. And now they're like, here's your full health pill, sir. I think they're programming it like that on purpose, I tell you what. I tell you what. Binding of Isaac, I tell you what. One plus one free. I think that's just two. Why is this room full of skulls? Sorry, not full of skulls, but there's a tiny skull on this screen. Oh, that's where we fought the mini boss. That's why. Alright, so using my deductive reasoning. Haha! -ha. Money, money, money. Maybe we can afford something now. Probably not. I think they were all expensive. We could get a bomb and then bomb that black rock. Ooh, nice! That's very good since my character has low health. Um, best to avoid going to the store unless you have lots of money. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, pretty much. Well, the, the opening, I don't know if it's not in the remake version, but when you boot up this game, it actually does tell you the story about how his mom his mom was hearing a voice, what what she thought was the voice of God telling her to do all these things. And it kept telling her that Isaac was corrupt. And it kept escalating, like, you have to get rid of all of Isaac's stuff, you have to do all this stuff. And then finally, the voice basically told her you have to kill Isaac. So Isaac, Isaac I guess, fled to the basement to get away from the mom. Oh god. Okay, so I see the poop is the problem, because they start blocking your escape routes. Oh yeah, we gotta start... Ooh! I don't know why you dropped health, but okay, I'll take it. It must have fell out of one of the poops. We need some tier power-ups. These things are like... They're a little bit stronger than the base one, but they're so slow. Ouch. These guys are not breaking up. There's more hearts though, which we don't need yet, but there we go. Ooh, cool. And rotten meat, which I guess gave us another I don't know, actually. <laughs> okay. We're, we're actually pretty good on health at this point. Alright, see you, J Dub. Thanks for stopping in. Rag says the intro story is not the real story of the game. Would you say that's because they retconned it up after the vanilla version? We have a key for that door. That's good. Ouch. As long as we don't die. I feel sorry for these guys. They don't know any better. 
Okay, so only the red flies want you dead. Interesting. Oh, but you have to kill them if you want to leave. Huh. Okay. Brother Bobby. Oh, that's sick. We have a familiar. Brother Bobby. It's like in Gauntlet Legends. When you get your, your little dragon. Oh, Pride. That was like one of the weirder ones, wasn't it? Pretty sure we fought this guy like second to last out of all the uh, things. Oh god. Whoa, you never come down here. Don't do that. Don't change things up like that. I don't like it. Oh, bombs! There we go. Strength. I wonder what that does. The story is all told through Isaac's mind, and what actually happens is revealed through different endings relating to the super bosses. The super bosses, okay. Yeah, I didn't plan on beating the game today, I just wanted to, something to stream that was simple, and I've always wanted to, been meaning to give this a proper play. Because like I said, I only ever played the free Newgrounds version before this, and that was a long time ago. Ouch. That red fly better give me something good. Oh, uh, our range. I got so used to the, all the power-ups we had last uh, run. Can't reach him. Oh, we can. So let's squeeze our shots in. I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to... That's it. Alright. Oh, what a room, what a room, what a room. There are decapitated bodies everywhere. All sorts of shapes and sizes and colors and on fire. Oh, you are a jumpy boy. We have keys, bombs, and money. Uh, black rock in this room, J. Oh. Uh, yep, you're right. Keep. And another key. Oh, I don't like that they can jump over the rocks. Oh god, not a fan. Oh, there goes our, all of our temporary hearts. Yeah, I should just wait for him to come to me. That's the safe option. But I could waste my last bomb to get a single coin and whatever's in that black rock, but let's uh, hold off a bit. Oh, Lord. What do you guys do again? Like, I don't want to know. Oh, God. I'm guessing I have to run through. Ouch. That's such an inconvenient spot. Yep, we just have to kind of run. That's the only safe... Oh! Even then, it's not that safe. There's one down. There we go. I could bomb them, but I mean... I'd be wasting a bomb. Damn! Okay, you know what? Screw it. Coin. Alright. I bomb that rock and hope for blue heart. Well, I I didn't want that guy to kill me. I had to do what I had to do. I 
Okay, well we have plenty of keys. The bean is seven. That's something that we just unlocked recently, so maybe that'd be worth uh, getting just to see what it does. Yeah, screw it. Let's just have fun. We're not actually expecting to beat it this run anyways. Um, yep, yeah, guess we'll just go fight the bot. Wait. Oh, we don't have bombs to look for the secret. But there is health in here. Yes. Okay. I'm really glad they saved that on the map. You unlock tiny rock before I think, so sometimes bombing black rocks will give you tiny rock, which is raw damage increase. Uh... Oh, okay. I don't know what beans do, but I am humored by your ability to use a bean. Well, I have, I have a guess of what it does. We'll try it out on this boss. Oh, this was the easy one. This was like the first boss I ever fought, I think. But might as well try it out. Let's just see. Yep, that's what I figured. It's like slowly... Is it like poison? Yeah, it is. We didn't fight in this type of room, though. So I guess that's how they make bosses harder sometimes, is like the room. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Like, I would have beat Loki probably if it wasn't for the room we were in. All that stuff going on. So, that makes sense. That's actually smart, so that way you don't fight them in the same order every time, but they can still make easier bosses a bit harder. Dog food. Dessert. Cool. Um, Alright, we'll move on. Do they unlock all the items from the get-go in later versions? Loki always comes with the spike moving rock. Oh, really? There was that little section in the room though, like that little hole in the wall, which kind of like, I don't know, I feel like that kind of helped throw me off. Oh, I didn't realize you were gonna get knocked that way, dude. Ouch, okay. The bean's pretty good actually, cause the fact that it does that, uh. Poison damage is, is pretty good for bosses. If I had the bean for Loki, he might have also been killed. Oh, these guys have so much health. Whoa! Okay, let's try to stay away from the green guy when he dies. Good lord. Ouch. Oh, all of them. Yeah. Oh, bombs. That's good. Gotta be careful, our health's getting low. No, they don't auto-unlock items, but the later versions start with more items and more unlocks. And there's more challenges that unlock stuff. Come on. There we go. Well, we don't need that key. There's a black rock up there, though. Can we... If I put a bomb right here, do you think it would actually reach the black rock? If it killed the beggar that was two rocks away, then I figure we'll be able to hit that black rock. Hmm. Hmm. We could come back to that. Oh, I don't like these guys. Don't like these guys, never did. You know what? Screw it, Bean. <laughs> we'll probably refresh it by the time we get to the boss anyways. The sun! Mmm. Now the question is, do I save this? Should, do I use this now and then pick up strength? Which I'm assuming gives me temporary strength boost? Because all the tarot cards are temporary, right? If it's a permanent strength boost, I'll just use strength and pick up the sun. But if they're both temporary, I think I might just use the sun to heal now. And then, well, we can leave it for now. We can actually wait. Um, Halo of flies. Okay, does that like protect me? 
Strength is only one room. Okay, gotcha. Um, in that case, I'll, I'll hold on to the sun for now. I'll heal if I need to heal. I'll, I'll make sure I'm, I heal before the boss in any case. And then I'll go pick up strength after the fact. And we should probably try to bomb the black rock while, while we're here. Hey, look at that. Strength gives you one heart and damage buff for a single room. Use that for the boss fight, then pick up the sun. Well, if I use it for the... Hmm. Well, I don't know, though, because I might want to have as much health as I can for the boss fight, you know? Oh, now there's like a dual room, too. Yeah, I think I'll go with my original plan. Because then we could go in there. Which we, I've only been to one of those so far. So, oh, we haven't checked out all the rooms yet though. Let's check out all the rooms. There's probably a secret. No, so there must be another, oh, it's the other spot probably. There's two spots. Like now, now that I have the full health item, I'm like dodging stuff. Is that a black rock? It kind of looks like it. Oh, yep. Oh, look at that. Wow. That's really been working out for me. Isaac is a game in which you play money, big money, big prizes. I'm going to save that because I'm going to, I plan on using the full heal. Anyway. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Okay. That could have went really poorly. Hmm, we could buy another soul heart. Is that what they're called? I think I heard Dragonix call them soul heart. There's a compass. That probably were worth getting. I assume. I presume. That's a lot of money. A silver coin. So you know what? Let's use the old bomberoo trick. Boom. Yeah, um, Binding of Isaac was the first game that Dragonix was doing for his charity stream, so. Uh, yep, let's get this. Yeah! Professor Beef said, ugh, when are you going to play Fortnite or Five Nights at Freddy's or Minecraft? Well, you see. So the other possible spot it could be in is right here. Hopefully that's it, because I don't have... What the? Oh, there was another spot on the bottom left, and I was unlucky enough that that wasn't it. Okay. I'm really bad luck when it comes to multiple, like, places that the secret rooms could be in. Wow, that's a lot of money. Big money, big prizes. I love it. I'm guessing these are like the more mutated forms that the crying 
enemies turn into after a while because they're like extra. They're just extra. Oh, I hate these guys. Wait, can you shoot their bullets? I don't think so. Oh, I can move you back. Hello? Okay. That was weird. There you go. And the High Priestess, which sounds like a pretty powerful card. Um, okay. So we are going to heal before the boss. Anyways. Wait, I never used the sun? How did I get into the duel room without full health? My brain. Uh, sun is full heal plus map reveal plus secret room reveal plus AoE damage. Oh. Okay. Professor Beef said, sorry, my little brother snatched the iPad. Hey, Krill, what's up? Don't use the sun, okay. Well, what does the High Priestess do? Because that sounds pretty impressive. I'll leave that there for now. And I'll go and get those hearts. High Priestess slams an enemy. If no enemy, it slams you. It's good to know. We wouldn't want to get slammed. Oh, we can't get that. All right, we'll use High Priestess on the boss. Um, and then after we beat the boss, we'll go back and get the Sun card. Unless the boss kills us, which is another possibility. How's the game running? It's going pretty well. It's my first time like playing this. Uh, but uh, we, we did two like okay runs, I think. Um, I did some goofs, but you know. It happens. Hey, Ghost. Yo, Binding of Isaac, have you played this before? I only ever played the free Flash version on Newgrounds when it, back when that came out. I haven't actually played the full game until right now. And then this isn't even like the full, full game, I guess, because there's like Rebirth. Let's see, was this guy a pain? Oh! Damn, that did a lot of damage. Wow, I should have saved that for, I don't know, something. Wow. Well, I was going to hold on to the sun anyways, probably, so it's good to use it here. That was... I did not expect to do that much damage. You said slam, I didn't expect a stomp. Good lord. Fire Code Hanger, that's a reference to a horror movie. All right, we'll get the we'll get our son back. Wait, what's up there? Looks like there's an item we. Oh, strength! I forgot about strength. Oh, I was supposed to use that on the boss. You said that gives you an extra heart, right? Is the heart permanent? Yeah, I should definitely just use this and then pick up the sun because the sun seems like it's just what you really, really want to have in your pocket, just in case. We picking tarot cards up. Apparently, that's what they are. So boom, boom. I think it goes after room. Oh, the heart goes away after? Oh, oh well, well. We needed to pick one anyways. Too bad you can't sell stuff at the store. All right, let's move on. Pocket full of sunshine. Okay. Well, that's damage. That was avoidable. Oh boy. Gotta remember, you can shoot over the holes. Okay. 
Uh huh. We lost. Oh god. Wait, that's the boss. Wait, wait, wait. A boss from a previous room like became a big enemy. Damn. There's another arcade. Cool. We haven't been to one of these in a while. Um, we don't have like a million bucks to spend to gamble with this time, but. Well, let's see. We don't really need bombs or keys right now, so I guess gambling is kind of... There isn't a huge point to that. We could blow this up and just get what's in it. We have a few bombs. We'll, we'll come back here later after we've cleared more stuff up. Um... Oh, I wasn't going to sacrifice HP. <laughs> Definitely not. HP over coin. Any day of the week. The copper colored uh, maggot or whatever this is dropped a copper coin. Who would have guessed? I'm guessing there must be some kind of item that lets you get item, uh, things that are behind spikes. Or else, I mean, come on. Look at that. Oh, another challenge room. Those guys weren't running nearly as fast. Alright, let's go for it. We got this. We got this. That wasn't very good for a gold chest in a challenge room. I guess I shouldn't complain though. Bombs are, are good regardless. Damn it. I I thought he was gonna die before he hit me, but I overestimated my my power. Oh these guys, these guys. Look like these guys are probably not as bad in an open area. Cause then you have more room to deal with them. Should be like one more wave, I think. Okay. Keep moving, these guys should be okay. There we go. Didn't get a whole lot out of this, but we didn't lose too much either, so it's okay, I guess. Hover shoes or wings might let you go over spikes. Been so long since I played. Uh, when you donate enough health to Blood Machine, there's a chance it explodes and gives you a blood bag that increases your max HP and damage. Whoa. That's just a chance, though, so. We wouldn't want to risk a bunch of health that we don't have a lot of. You know? Can you give up your uh, your temporary hearts to the machine, or no? Does it only take the red hearts? Wouldn't be surprised if it did. Oh, it's such a slow projectile. These guys. Ah! Oh, some, some enemies do like a full heart of damage when they hit you, don't they? Uh-oh. The lovers. Um, It takes red hearts first, then soul hearts, then kills you. Okay. The mom is mean in this game, for sure. <sighs> well, we don't need to use either of these yet. Wait until the, the floor is cleared out. Use lovers, it drops hearts. Oh, okay. 
Oh, that'll be good for the for the blood machine if we want to try to to uh, make it explode or whatever. Oh, these guys. You know what? Can I just? Haha! -ha! Take that. Can you like pop out now? I guess it doesn't do uh, the poison damage when they're when they're uh, ducked down like that. We can go in here. Ooh, Sister Maggie. Now we have brother and sister on our side. Oh, that's awesome. Wait a minute. I mouse over your pinball quest review and all the preview shows is Fury. Have I been bamboozled? Maybe. It might be a whole elaborate prank. I don't know why YouTube does that. Sometimes I'll show like five seconds of footage from another game because I mention it and it's like a 10 minute review of like a specific game and YouTube picks footage from the game that's only has like five seconds of footage in it. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, I better be careful with that TNT. Except that one down there. Aha! In Rebirth, there's a character who's designed completely around familiars and cannot shoot themselves. That's interesting. There's the boss door. Ooh, a spoon. Wooden spoon. Speed up. I don't know why that speeds us up. Maybe because it reminds him of his mom picking up a wooden spoon. Kind of like the all-powerful Chonkla. Really? A slot machine? There's already a slot machine up there. I might as well not even play with this one. I could, I'll just blow it up, screw it. Health up, cool, that works. See a ghost, thanks for stopping in, I appreciate it. Oh, that's Afterbirth, okay. Well, I can't believe there's like, there's Rebirth, Afterbirth, Afterbirth Plus, and I'm just playing the vanilla version. I'm probably the only person playing the vanilla version right now, let's be honest. All right, so you said the lover's card drops hearts, right? So, all right, just a couple hearts, nothing too crazy. Whoops, that was an accident. Oh, well, I guess now we have hearts to use on the machine. Oh, well, okay then. And we got a bloody face now. That's funny, we did it twice and we got the exact thing you mentioned. Anti- anti-birth. That's an insane amount. Although I kind of wish I got more coins out of that to be honest. I'm just gonna uh, spend until I get down to, uh, let's say about 20. That's good, a key. We could use a key. All right. Oh, didn't mean to do that. All right, let's go fight the boss now. And now we have hearts to heal if we need to. Zombie cane, yeah. Do they ever, um... Do you know what the coat hanger does? I'm kind of curious. Cause it's just stuck in my head and I just, I don't know. Uh, oh, the boss is not that way. Well, there's lots of health for when we hopefully beat the boss to, to heal back up. Wait, did we never go to the store? Oh, yeah. That's not a store. Oh, this is like the only one we haven't fought yet, I think. Maybe. I might have just forgotten. 
Oh, I gotta, I gotta use the beam. Almost forgot about the beam. Look at how good that is. Get them, brothers and sisters. <gasps> Money. Cool. And we got our key back. Not bad. We didn't take any damage. That was a, a net profit. Tears up. Code hanger's just a stat increase like wooden spoon. Oh yeah, we can look at our stats. Um. Cool. Whoops. I mean to do that. God, that would have sucked. We're like doing pretty good right now. I wouldn't want to accidentally end the run. Okay. Guess we'll just go fight the boss. Can anything... Let's see. I'm assuming nothing shows up in these, but I'm just going to blow them up anyways. Just in case. I didn't notice any black rocks this time, but maybe I wasn't paying attention very well. Okay, boss time. Let's do it. Uh-oh. Chubb, this is a new boss, which means we're not familiar. Oh, God. Okay. We were able to get a bean on him. So it's a big version of the, the, the maggots. This actually doesn't seem too bad, and it's like a pretty open room, but who knows? It could start to get harder. No, actually, this just seems like a pretty easy boss compared to some of the other ones. Yeah, especially because it acts exactly the same as the smaller ones. There we go. Oh, that worked out well. We have like all these excess hearts we don't even need now. There was no store on this floor, huh? Okay. Don't forget your sun card before you leave. Oh, thank you. Whoops! My fingers were not on the right spots. I wasted a bomb, it's okay. Where did I leave that sun card at? Oh, down here. Oh, whoops. We're not on that part of the map. The sun card could save your life. Yeah, you're right. Definitely right. Hey, Krill, is this Wrath of the Lamb? Um, is that yet another... Isaac thing? No, this is the vanilla Binding of Isaac. I'm assuming that's like the fifth sequel slash add-on or whatever. Okay, boss time. Here we go. Got our beans, got our sun. Let's do this. Uh, oh wait, we just beat the boss. What am I talking about? We're moving on to the next thing. Wrath of Lamb was original vanilla DLC before Rebirth. Oh, okay. No, yeah, I, this is just vanilla vanilla. I don't have, um... Wait, we're already to the second to last one? Okay, I didn't realize that. Huh. Might as well get the chest. Oh, we did the perfect spot. I didn't expect that to happen. And we got two keys for a key. Not bad. Deadly Sinner's Electric Boogaloo. Okay. Oh god. Let's kill these. Oh. Okay, they're gone. These guys explode. Gotta remember that. Oh, all those extra hearts on the last floor we're not going to be able to use. Okay, at least we got that. Oh, that's nice. Just immediately... Jeez. I was like firing at a rock the whole time. Did a coin just fall into the pit? Looks like it did. Um... Let's do this. Remember 
Your beam recharges every floor. Oh, really? Every single floor? Halloween update was a true first content edition. It gave you Shrill and Eve. Mistaken by thinking they took six rooms to recharge. Oh, okay. Alright, thanks for letting me know. Is that a 50% off coupon? Does that mean like every other item will be 50% off from now on? We're gonna leave this here for now. Pretty basic stuff that we may or may not need later. Oh no. I just had to, to do that because there was nowhere else to run at that point. Now let's not let that happen again. Uh oh. Almost happened again. I guess we should just follow them. That would probably be the good technique, huh? There we go. That was okay. Could have been worse. Steam cell. There's a steam cell? Oh, steam cell. I get it. Oh no! Oh no 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 Okay. I just had to get rid of those ASAP because Bombs are key. Alright, that's fine. I'll accept that. Oof. We just got more bombs though. Well, at least we have the key for this door. Ah, it's that item. Eh. There's a chance it could heal me. So you know what? I'm gonna pick it up, I'm gonna use it. I'm ahead now. Does that mean I can float over stuff? But it, I'm assuming it goes away after uh, this floor. Yep, I can float over stuff. All right, and I'll pick my beam back up. So that's how you go over spikes. Secret door here. Yep. We're getting a lot of money this time. Which is good. There is a heart in the store, we'll have to remember that. Um. I don't like the floors with these stone things that shoot because it's like you can't kill them. You just have to wait until everyone else is dead. Oh, they have a lot of health. There we go. Okay. We're actually pretty low in health. <sighs> Buy Steam Cell for everything on sale and stores for the rest of the run. Do you think it'd be worth it since I have a lot of money right now? Okay, just flies. Oh, but those things too. I almost didn't notice them in the corners. That wasn't bad. That could have been a lot worse. And we got another half. That's what the coupon looking thing is called if that wasn't clear. Oh, it's actually called Steam Cell. I thought they were just making a joke. Okay. That's so weird that this is just a regular enemy now. I guess they already set the precedent that you fight two of them in a in one like in the boss fight, so there's already more than one. So that was kind of smart. We're on the second to last floor, I believe. Okay, these guys can be bad if we let them get out of hand. I think we're doing okay. Now don't step on the blood. Oh god, I shouldn't have did that. I shouldn't have stayed so close to it. That was my bad. Use a bomb to get two bombs. Sounds like a good deal. Wait, we could that. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> I flew across the room. Ah. Uh, 
I want to. I think I'm gonna get the heart to be safe, because I want. I'm trying to not waste my sun just yet. Yeah, it's only three, so we'll get the half off. Boom. Oh, they round up. Well, I can afford everything, so this might be something good. Let's see, strength. We'll leave that here for now. The sun is far more valuable. I don't make jokes, Jay. I just repeat jokes other people make. That's a classic video gamey thing. Bosses returning to singular enemies to show how much you've grown in power slash knowledge. Oh yeah, that's certainly true. Strength will give you free health. But you said it goes away after uh, after a room, right? Maybe I misunderstood that. Oh! Okay, I haven't seen one of these hearts in a while. Oh, we don't have any keys though. Damn it. Why is... Huh. Weird. Very strange. Oh! Damn it, I missed. Okay, I just gotta be careful here because he drops the bombs and his bombs can also hurt him. Last time I kind of panicked. Look, we can even kind of soft lock him a bit. Knock your bombs back at him. Okay, see that wasn't bad at all. I wonder if he always leaves the bomb buddy behind. Is that a black rock right there? What if I pick this up and use it here? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, baby. Whoops. No, I want the bean. Have you dealt with the devil yet? Um. Oh, when I ver when I barely started playing, I ran into the devil once, but I didn't do anything because I didn't know what the items did and I didn't want to sacrifice my health. You keep the heal of one heart but lose the extra capacity. Gotcha. Alright, I think I'm going to do that before the boss fight then. Too bad we don't have a key. Alright. We might actually make it to the last level this time. Because last time I had half a heart to deal with the second to last boss. And I almost beat him too. Everyone in the, in the chat can uh, attest to this. Alright. Boom. Alright. Six hearts. We have our son. I think we have a pretty good shot here. Oh wait. We haven't unlocked the boss door yet. Have we? Did we? I must have seen the boss story. Why else would I... No, I didn't. I preemptively did all that. I shouldn't have done that yet. Oh, well. Pray for Bible. Oh, what do I... Okay. That... Where's the other one? Down here. It was right next to me. There we go. There we go. Nice. Oh, and we got the key, so now we can go back. And we could get that bomb. And the black rock, of course. Oh, Lord, look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, my God, look at that. I don't know, guys. I think I might beat this boss this time. Just one enemy? Huh. I'm guessing that's really bad if that guy touches you, but luckily he didn't touch me. It'll mark a skull once you see in the boss door. That's what I thought. Okay, um... Is there another secret room around where all those rooms are surrounded? Or is there only... Oh yeah, you said there's two secret rooms per floor, huh? Oh god! It's okay, we still have a lot of health. Goofed a little bit, but it's fine. We 
get that coin. Bomb for a coin. Nah. Oh, there's the boss door. Okay. It looks like there might be a secret room to the left here. Strength is best for devil deals. Have no idea why you just wasted it. I used... I used... Um, I used it to get an extra heart because I... I don't know. I'm worried that I'm going to... Uh, Plus, I doubt I'm ever going to see the devil again, because I think you have to beat a boss without getting hit once. Which I almost did when I had half a heart, but that's because I had to. Secret room might only be in rebirth. Super secret room. Oh, okay, gotcha. I'm going to save these bombs for now. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Monstro 2. I forgot how the first one worked flies and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna use bombs. I haven't been using bombs before. Oh, and the bean. Gotta use the bean. He's actually doing a lot of damage. Wait, is he? Maybe he hasn't hit me yet. Oh no, he's hurting me alright. It's just that the temporary hearts are vanishing. Don't stay directly in his line of sight or else he does that. Although, baiting him into doing that would be good because then he'll be open for... Attacks. Oh god. Flies. Oh. Oh god. Oh, that bomb missed. Maybe we shouldn't use the bombs. They're not... It's a little hard to, uh... Hit him. Okay. Okay, I think we got him. Hey, we did it! Hey, we did it! Milk! Breakfast. Does a body good. Sweet! Sweet! Sweet. Um, did I leave something that I wanted to get? I forget. No, I think we, I think we're good, huh? Cool, we did it. Um, uh, get beamed. Yeah. I wasted the devil deal. What do you mean? Sorry, I don't, I don't know. I must have missed something there. But anyways, I think we're... I'm just trying to make... I need to make sure real quick if there's something we left behind. Um, you have to go to Devil Room first before leaving or it vanishes. Oh, I didn't even see a Devil Room. My bad. Alright. I think we're good. I think... We got everything from the store. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go to the last level now. Yeah, okay, let's do it. I just I keep feeling paranoid that I'm gonna leave something behind. That's why I, I ran back there. But that's okay, because the devil deal I probably wouldn't have done anyways, because um it's risky, you know, I have to I have to give up hearts for stuff I don't even know what they do. And we have a lot of hearts now, too, so this is uh, hopefully going to help us out. You really want me to get that Bible? Oh, God. Damn, we really need keys. Still got that sunshine in your pocket. That's true. That's true. Let's try to not waste it, though. Let's try to... If we could save that for the final boss, I think that'll be real good for us. Okay, these guys want to jump on us. So keep moving, just keep moving. Ouch. Damn. Wait, what's hitting me? My, I, something was hitting me and I kind of wasn't sure what it was. It, it was probably the little guy shooting me. Oh, we can't even get the pill. You jerk. 
I don't suppose you could knock a rock in diagonally. I can't shoot it. Damn. Good devil deals give temporary hearts to replace heart containers. Yeah, I don't know. I like I only saw the devil room once at the very start and I never used it, so I wasn't really I wasn't really sure what to look out for. My bad. Oh god. That wasn't a very good room. I gotta remember the beam, too. Purposely trigger these guys. That seems like a good tactic. Okay. It looks like a regular doorway, but more devilish. You know what? I might have saw that, and I just thought it was the boss door, even though I was in the boss room. And my brain, like, instinctively my brain was just like, oh, that's the boss door, don't go there yet. What the heck? This is a new type of mini-boss. Arcade? That could potentially be very good. Okay, what should we do here? What should we do? Oh, you know what? We haven't seen a store yet, so maybe we shouldn't gamble just yet. Yeah, let's save this room. This is like our desperation room good habit is to always check for devil angel rooms before leaving boss room in case it spawns I, th I thought you had to not get hit once during a boss fight for them to appear so I think that's why I didn't even think about it I swear something just hit me again maybe it's just the bullets there's so much stuff on the screen because of my little familiars that It'd be hard to keep track. Blow the arcade up. Yeah, I was gonna wait. I might do that. I just wanted to see if uh, I end up utilizing the bombs first. Okay, at least it's an easier boss. Like, if I wanted to refight any of the bosses, this would definitely be one of the ones. Oh god. You're almost done, buddy. You're almost done. And... Just about. They really last a while after their, their health depletes. Oh, you didn't even drop anything, dude. Uh, you had like five soul hearts of buffer before you could even take red heart damage. The criteria isn't don't get hit, it's don't take red heart damage. Okay. Gotcha. Um, Basement 2, Devil Room's guaranteed if you don't take red heart damage. From then on it's purely random. Oh, but it's increased if you don't take red heart damage. Okay. There's so much to, to know about this game. Okay, that went pretty well. Oh, there's the boss door. Wait, that's the final boss right there, right? And it would probably be... Would it be safer to just... Would it be safest to just go fight the boss without visiting more other rooms? Because if I go to other rooms... There's a chance I could find good items, but then there's a chance that I'll just get more damage, right? What do you guys think? So the arcade's down there. The coin's here. Yeah, just fight now? Okay. All right. So in that case, I mean, you did keep telling me that it'd be good to get the Bible, but I'm assuming that's just... Yeah, so we're gonna clear out the arcade. So I'm thinking... Huh. Blow up the blood machine. Blow up the slot machine gamble with this guy yeah let's blow up the blood machine because i can't afford to use any blood so let's just blow it up hey that's exactly what we would have wanted 
and maybe gamble with him a little bit. If he could get us some more hearts, that'd be great. That key would be fine too, because then we could uh, open that chest from before. It's not bad. And we're just getting money. Oh my god, we're winning everything, but I, I'd really like some hearts. Hearts are like that one key. Oh my lord! Really? Okay. Bible is just a one-shot instant win ability for this boss fight, but it's not guaranteed to spawn. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, well it's okay, we don't need the one-shot. Hopefully we can beat it legit. Okay, this is like a sick joke. This is like that episode of the Twilight Zone where that guy thinks he's like in heaven. No, he dies and goes to heaven. And heaven's a casino because he loves gambling, but he keeps winning every time. And then he realizes it's like, it's, it's boring because he just wins and wins and wins. I can't believe how many times we're getting this. That's good. Oh, we have four keys. Kane has lucky rabbit's foot. He wins more often in a shell game. Oh, okay. Maybe it's like a 50% chance instead. Let's try this for some stuff. There we go. That's what we want. That is exactly what we want. Let's just do both at the same time and go faster. Oh, that's not a good fly. Now we're losing. We don't really need keys anymore. <laughs> this is like super gambling. But I mean, I might as well spend all my money, right? Because I'm not going to find a store. I'm just going to go right to the boss after this. Those orbiting pretty fly you have around you block projectiles. Okay, yeah, I thought that might have been what was happening. Damn, I don't need any more money. Give me some hearts. Or, no, yeah, just hearts. Oh, there we go. Hopefully we can get that. Nope. I forget if blowing up the slot machine has a chance of giving you other items besides coins. After we run out of money, I'll blow up the slot machine. We have so many bombs now. If- hey- oh, there we go. If bombs are good for the final boss, then, uh... That'd definitely be good, because we have a lot of bombs right now. I usually forget to use bombs, or I just don't think about it. I just... Or it just seems kind of risky. Because cause I... Cause, wait a minute, can your own bombs hurt yourself? I think they can, right? Because I, I usually avoid them. If your own bombs can't hurt yourself, then I might as well just like spam the heck out of them. We're too good at winning money. Oh, I should bomb the beggar? Okay, they can hurt you, gotcha. That's what I figured. Does bombing the beggar give you something? Or is this just... Oh god. Well, hey, give me a heart! Alright. That's my last coin too, perfect timing. And that's exactly what I needed. Perfect. Down to the last coin. And I guess we'll bomb the beggar. Oh! Well, you were right. You were right. It was worth it. Extra, extra. Nine. Sorry, eight regular hearts. 
uh, a soul heart, the sun. I think we have a decent chance of beating the final boss. Unless I really, really screw up and panic, which is possible. So, we'll see what happens. Okay. Versus mom. So, oh! Kit. Oh, damn it. I farted at the wrong, wrong time. I have no idea what's going on right now. I don't think I really watched Dragnix fight this boss. Oh, oh god. Oh no. I I hate this room. Did she just say something? Oh, Isaac. She screamed Isaac. Oh god. I gotta be careful. I gotta be, pay attention to my health. Oh god, it's getting kind of low. Get my, get my finger ready to hit that Q button. Oh my god. I might use it at one heart just to be safe. Okay. So. Oh, there's so much going on. This is not good for my brain. Oh, sorry. I had to use it. I panicked. Oh, it killed her. Okay. Didn't realize it was going to do damage. I love you above all else, Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line for Isaac. His mother was far too strong for him. No. But just as he accepted his fate, God intervened, sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like <laughs> the that, book fell on him, fell on her. It was over. Me, mom. It looks like he made up that story. Oh. Uh well, all right, cool. We did it. We we managed to do a successful run. Cool. Rex said fake ending, play again. We, we didn't do it with Isaac though, but I think it still counts. Cool. Here's all the different bosses and stuff. Cool. So yeah, I'm glad I was uh, I was able to play this. It's definitely cool. I feel I feel like um, if I play this again, I would want it to be the newer version. Like, just for the fact that I can actually use a gamepad, that'd be nice. Chapter four. What is that? Harbingers. Cube of meat. I like how the, the min achievement unlocked, I killed mom. Fun fact, you've only played about one third of the game. Well, that's cool. I mean, that there's more content. But yeah, if, if I play this again, I'll probably want to do the newer version. Maybe when it goes on sale, I'll pick it up. Um, just so I could just, just being able to use two joysticks to play this game would be so good. That was like the main reason why I wanted to play it. Um, but then also just for all the extra content, because I know there's like way more stuff. So yeah, cool stuff. Glad I got to finally try it out. I, I'm going to have to plan streaming some Flash games this month since Flash is going away. Um, but yeah, I'm satisfied we were able to do that. I didn't expect... I specifically picked this character because I thought he was more dangerous so he was just going to die sooner. But we pulled it off. Um, all right, so yeah, that's gonna be it for tonight. Thanks everyone for joining. I appreciate it. Cool stuff. I still need to figure out what my next longer playthrough is gonna be, but uh, I'll let you know in the Discord when I figure it out. They remade all the art in the nice pixel art style and added more rooms. Real, I didn't notice that actually. I'll have to keep an eye out for that yeah thanks everybody uh you all have a good night and i'll catch you next time peace out